Zing, The Land Beyond is a first-person puzzle game by White Lotus Interactive. It's pretty easy platinum, taking less than 10 hours and having no missable trophies. Overall, I'd say the game is pretty skippable, although there doesn't really seem to be anything wrong with it. Uh, it's a very pretty game, the VR controls work very nicely, but it's not I that interesting. I'm, I'm not saying that a puzzle game needs to have a great story. I mean, this is the second video that I've made where I need to praise The Witness for what amazing that game is, and that game doesn't really have a story at all. Jonathan Blow, you know I love your weird Saturday morning back of the cereal box line puzzle simulator thing. And I'm not saying that, like, puzzle games need to be hard, either. I mean, Zing's puzzles are about as difficult as your standard Zelda puzzle. Uh, they're not exactly tough to figure out or to execute once you know what you want to do. But there's other things that bring you to the Zelda series and make you enjoy those games. Really, when all you have are your puzzles, and the puzzles aren't that interesting, there isn't much to go on in the game. Take this puzzle for instance, it's in the third area. Now, according to what's on the floor, it looks like you need to push these blocks onto the three markers that it's telling you, uh, with the goal being to jump from one to the other to get to the center place and get one of the collectibles. What I wound up doing was pushing them somewhere in that region and then just jumping over. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but it's what I did and it felt like cheating, I don't know. But Zing is about death, and if you're really interested in that sort of exploration in a video game space, I recommend playing What Remains of Edith Finch, because that game does it a lot better. I guess what this game has that other games don't have is some pretty scenery and some nice poetry, but there's a lot of poetry, so if you're not into that, it's kind of annoying. And yes, that is how it's pronounced. It's not pronounced crossing. Thank goodness.